As Vikings, we know the importance of braids and cords. These can be used for many different purposes, such as decoration for clothing, belts, bag straps, even little ties to fasten pouches and hang them from your belt. There are many different ways of making cords and braids, from the very simple, simply take a length of thread, tie a little slip knot, and then simply pull the end of the thread through the knot in a constant series of loops until we end up with a usable braid. So as you can see, it's very quick, it's very easy, and it gives you quite a nice, strong little cord that you can use for lots of different purposes. Of course, the way to check if you've done it properly is that it comes apart, which is rather counterproductive. But that's a very simple, very quick, easy braid. There are slightly more complex braids. These ones are known as finger braiding or finger knitting. And it's taking two separate colours. These are looped around the finger and simply pulled through the loops. So this one is a little more complicated, a little more tricky but it does again produce a nice quick braid which is also fairly decorative as you get a line of different colours. So these types of methods could be used during the Viking period for producing lots of useful little threads. However, what I'm going to show you today is this one. What I'm going to concentrate on. This is a braiding wheel. It's a very simple method of making a cord and it produces quite a a pretty and decorative braid at the end. Multicoloured if you use different shades of wool. Very, very simple to do at home and very simple to do for children. All you need to do is take your threads, take off seven different colours, tie a knot in the end. If we look at the wheel, there are eight holes in it. Seven threads go through the centre, right through the middle, and then simply put one thread into each of the cuts around the edge. These just splay out however you want them. We have seven threads and we have one empty hole. The way the braiding works, count in whichever direction you wish, but do be consistent. Look at the empty slot and count one, two and three threads away from it. As I say, you can do it from either side, but you must be consistent, otherwise you'll be undoing what you've previously done. So we count one, two, three threads away, take out the thread, place it into the empty hole, and then again. One, two, three threads away from the empty hole, place it into the empty one. And that's it, just keep on going. Counting one, two, and three, taking out the braid, putting it into the hole, one, two, and three, taking it out and putting it in. As you go through, you'll notice the threads are starting to knot around themselves in the middle. Just give a gentle tug at the bottom to pull the cord out from underneath and as you go you will find your threads on the top are getting shorter, your braid at the bottom is getting longer and you will be producing something that looks like this. Very decorative, very simple and extremely sturdy. It also is a fairly slow method to do so um, not quite as quick and easy as the other ones but it will fill in the time, it will keep your little fingers occupied and produce something both decorative and useful at the end. Enjoy!